since we are out. Oh. <laughs> Just for you to know, I recorded the same video right now in German. And if you want to know how it sounds like without the dead cats attached, then just check over here. So right now we are trying to compare the CM22 versus the CM28. The one and only eco effect of the CM22. I'm also going to walk around a little bit because there is a lot of insects flying around. This year track one is the CM28. This year track two is the CM22. They go into the Tascam X8 and here in the center I have the Lark M2, like second version of the Hollyland Lark. This is in the center so you can compare these sounds during my little walk around. So I think we start with everything which is same. And by the way, you know, here I'm using the CM28. You see it blinking in red with an internal recording. So in case we should lose connection, you will be able to continuously hear the recording because I have this internal recording here. So what's same about the CM22 and 28? Both units in the way I use them, they come with two transmitters and both both come with one receiver. Both of them, they can use noise cancelling. Of course, this recording here is without noise cancelling, so you can hear the maximum impression of the beautiful birds singing around. So next one, the charging case is available for both of them. So you're not limited to the batteries internal uh, inside the receivers and transmitters because there is an extra battery. So as soon as you put it back into the charging case, you will be able to prolong working potential. So both have a USB A to USB C cable. This is all the accessories now. Both of them they have an Android as well as a lightning adapter. Both microphones as well as the Lark here in the center they are equipped with these magnetic clips. This is how I was able to mount them to my pullover. And then you should just know you know these magnetic clips they are not as strong when you compare it for example to the ones of the DJ I mic too. So next one, both of these microphones, the CM22 as well as the CM28, they have an input for lavalier mics. So you can connect any kind of lavalier mic directly into the transmitters. But the big difference is that the CM22 already comes with two lavalier mics in the box <laughs> or in the back, but the CM28 does not have one. We will compare the sound quality with and without lavalier mics on both machines anyway later in this video. Last but not least, regarding the accessories, both of these microphones. They have a transport bag, not as beautiful, just simply gray and very functional. But so in these kind of bags you can carry all the additional gear which can be used in different contexts with these microphones is contained. On both microphones you can control the impedance directly from the receiver, not from the transmitter, which is quite interesting. So you should either be next to your camera where the receiver is or you should carry your recording box like for example the Tascam X8 around with you which then is kind of like spoiling the whole point of having a wireless mic because you would carry all the gear around. So then both of these microphones they record 16 bit 48 kilohertz so no 24 bit no 32 bits. Both consist of real-time monitoring using, of course, the receivers, the headphone out of the receivers. Both of them are equipped with the necessary cables, of course. Both have analog as well as a digital output, so you can connect it to other computer systems uh, digitally, directly, by using the receiver. Both of them offer the classical mono stereo mode or this kind of backup track mode where you have one track recorded in the original volume and a second second one recording the same signal with some few decibel lower, maybe 6 or 10 decibel lower, so that in case you should be too loud, you can restore it in best case in post. And then we are going to compare the differences now between both microphones. CM22 has a display on each of the units, like as well on the transmitters and 
also on the receivers whereas the cm28 does not have any display on the transmitter doesn't give you much feedback but you have still the control leds of course so next difference the cm22 has three different sound effects as you may be aware the, unique, the one and only echo effect of the cm22 and you can compare them using this link here or you go to the later part of this video whereas the cm28 can only do noise reduction cm22 comes with the two additional lavalier mics as i already told you whereas the cm28 needs extra lavalier mics in case you want to use them so then the cm22 charging case has a different concept because there is an on off switch in front of the charging case so if you just want to open it to maybe connect some cables or whatever the whole unit is not automatically switching on whereas in the cm28 as soon as you open the lid this unit is going to power itself on and waste energy next one the cm22 has of course a larger charging case because the whole unit is also larger but there is an extra hole where you can put maybe some possible cable that might be required or you can put the wind muffs directly also inside but the problem is the wind muffs and a cable they already don't fit anymore so you will have to carry the additional back anyway around with you in the end in both units you can just put the charging bags including the mics and the receivers directly into the bags so this will all fit into one bag in the end so then this is for the disinfection freaks among you i don't know whoever needs that but the cm22 you just close the lid and that's it but with the cm28 there is an internal uv light and you will see that when you close the lid carefully and you try to kind of sneak through with your view then you will see that in the very end of closing the lid there will be this uv light being activated to kill some possible bacteria. So for those of you who are really into disinfection and so on, this might be an interesting option. And then, of course, the most important uh, difference, and I think this is really relevant, only the CM28 has possibility to record internally which is what I'm doing right now and in case we should have been losing the connection you will still be able to hear me because I was just also additionally recording the whole speech inside the CM28. So since the CM22 is larger than the CM28 it is more intuitive to handle. Yeah, Those microphones they become smaller and smaller like for example this Polyland Lark M2 here in the middle or let's say Comica, Vimo C and so on. Those ones compared to the CM22 really small also the CM28 much smaller than the CM22 but I think the intuitive grip and so on it's more like functional somehow the CM22 m22 because it's not too small so next point yeah i don't know if it's so important to mention but with the cm22 you have the usb-c connector located at the side of the receiver whereas with the cm28 it's on the back or downstairs if you will so cm22 you can control the effects from the receiver whereas with the cm28 you can switch on and off the one effect which it has directly from the transmitter which I think makes sense because you anyway have internal recording maybe sometimes you even don't want to use the receiver because you can just synchronize uh, the sounds afterwards in post-production and yeah so it makes pretty much sense that this control is now inside um, the transmitter and I think I would also like to have the possibility even just if you want to compare the different effects I could not do it right now from here because I would have to run back to the receiver to be able to change it yeah so it's better maybe to have more control on the transmitter especially for the ones who are not having a camera girl or boy uh, recording the video for them then the cm22 has a reset hole on the battery case and the cm28 does not have it i don't know if it's a good sign that the cm22 needs a reset hole because uh, yeah I don't want it to lock up by itself but what to do if it happens you have at least a reset hole the next point and there is a small difference between the kind of like radio frequency range CM22 is 2480 megahertz whereas the CM28 is between 2400 and 2480 the CM22 has, they say, a stable transmission of 100 
250 meters. I don't know how far am I away now. Can you still even see me as this small pixel there? Whereas the CM28 has a range of 200 meters, they say. Let's see if it proves to be true. Next, uh, the CM22 has operational durability of 21 hours, whereas the CM28 is 24 hours, which means after you have fully used the batteries, you may recharge them in the battery box. And when you do this like two times, you will be able to work 21 or 24 hours. Not much of a difference, I think. Then, of course, as already explained, Explained with the CM22, you can connect also directly to a phone, the receiver, but then you need a cable and it's kind of like a wanky connection, not really stable, not really compact. Whereas with the CM28, you can connect directly the receiver to the phone using these angular connectors here. And this is like more stable, if you will. And then both of them have these gray wind muffs, but there is another version of the newer CM28, which is sold by a different company. Funny enough, it's the same construction. I think I saw something like this in the internet. I was also testing this other version up here. But this one came with a black wind muff, whereas the one of the CM28 is grey. So far so good. Well, as I already mentioned, if you want to compare these sounds with the kind of like pure sound without a wind muff, then just check the German version of this video up here. And we go into some more tests. Pretty much more or less right now, or let's say. So it looks like the camera is still recording. I'm really interested in seeing these images and how everything was running. In the end also, you know, it's so interesting, this X8 here, which is sometimes not so stable, still recording. This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in stereo mode with no additional effects applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in stereo mode and low frequency cutoff applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in stereo mode and DSP noise cancellation applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in mono mode with no additional effects applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached.
This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in mono mode and low frequency cutoff applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in mono mode with DSP noise cancellation applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM22 in mono mode and KTV echo effect applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. The KTV echo effect is not available in stereo mode. This is a field recording using the newer CM28 in stereo mode with no additional effects applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM28 in stereo mode and DSP noise cancelling applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM28 in mono mode with no additional effects applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. This is a field recording using the newer CM28 in mono mode and DSP noise cancellation applied. Since we are outside, of course, the wind muffs are attached. <laughs> 